Howdy, welcome back. And here I am. Thank you very much for being here with me. I really appreciate all of you guys, all the support and everything that you guys give me. And this time I'm here to talk about something that I love. And it's Retin-A. -A. It's a great product. We already all know and have heard about it. It's a product that has vitamin E. A. I'm sorry, not vitamin E. Vitamin A. Vitamin A will help you with all those imperfections in your face. With acne, pimples, um, all those blackheads. It softens your skin. For all those who have like really rough skin and feel like it's like little bumps all over. This will actually come in and clean it and make it look really soft and give it a glow. It's a beautiful product. This one has the ability to give you a softer, nice and clean. Retin-A -A is really good to hydrate your skin. It actually helps you with all those persons who have a greasy face. It actually helps it because it controls it. It cleans your pores. It helps you to clarify your skin. If you have dark spots and all that, it's going to actually help you like little by little. It's not like using it once you're going to notice a big difference. But it will actually change the color to your natural color. As you can see, I have some spots right here. They were way darker. And they're actually clearing up pretty good. I have some right here also. And I had some on this side, but they're gone already. I had some dark spots. That you get over age but like i said it's little by little it's not something like you're using it once and you're going to notice a big change and how i use it i only use it once a week and why of course if you go to your dermatologist and your dermatologist tells you to use it in a different way or whatever you have to listen to her i'm not a dermatologist i'm just telling you how I personally use it and how I like it. I use it once a week and I only use it from November to March. Why? Because I don't want to be exposed to the sun, number one. Because when you actually use this cream and you're exposed to the sun, instead of helping you, it actually damages your skin. Because you're all that, this is like an, like an acid. So this acid is actually making a pilling and it's going to peel all your skin and get rid of all those things that are in your skin. So it takes like the little top layer and everything. Okay, normally we actually do that. We actually lose skin during our lifetime so many times a year. And every time you actually see that there's like little rolls and you think it's dirt or whatever, it's because you're actually losing that skin, okay? So it's not like we're like a, like, a, like a snake that we leave just our skin there. We leave it in a different way and it's just a really, the really top coat that we lose. So what we're doing with this is we're provoking it so it can actually do it fast. So it has some, some acid. And they have a number. So there's three different numbers. And so that's why I was saying that you need to go to your dermatologist so she can tell you which one is the best for you. So this acid that you're putting in your face, and you're not going to put it like if it was cream. You're actually just using it exactly where you have those spots or those imperfections. You don't use it around your eyes at all because this area is very delicate. So you don't, you don't use it like right in the, the curve of your nose or around your mouth because the peeling is going to be horrible on those areas. And so I don't use it in those areas. And what I do is I grab the cream and I just use it on the areas where I have the problem, where I have my dark spots. Like I said, these actually, I don't know if you guys can see it, they completely disappeared. They were pretty big similar to these, and they disappeared. I don't know why these went out fast. Maybe because my hair is down and it's covered and the hit, the sun doesn't hit them. Like I said, if you use this product and you're out on the sun, 
instead of doing something good for you, sometimes it makes it worse because your spots actually will get darker. That's why I say I use it November to March. That way I'm not exposed in the sun and I know that my face is protected because this is a acid. So I don't use it like cream. I only use it where I have the problem. If I'm, you know, I have pimples or if I have anything going on, I go in and just put it on that area. And so how do I use it? Only at night time. So I go in and I just put on those areas where I see that I have the problem. I go to sleep. The next morning I get up, I wash my face pretty good and make sure that I don't have anything left in my face. And then I use my vitamin C because this cream does really good if you use vitamin C and vitamin E. Why? Because vitamin A is going to do the peeling. Vitamin C is going to protect everything you have done. And vitamin E, it renews all that. So it regenerates all the skin. So that is why it's so important after you have used those to protect your skin. Now, if you use this and you don't see that your skin is peeling or anything, don't use it the next day because then it's going to peel completely and it's going to be really bad where it's going to be bad, where you're going to notice that you're going to be peeling all day and it's going to bother you because if you have to go to work and everything, your face is going to be peeling big time. There is times where I have used it and it doesn't do anything, or at least I don't feel like it's doing, there's no pilling, there's nothing, but I'm pretty sure that it's doing its action, it's doing what it has to do, but that is why I'm telling you, if you don't see any action going on after you used it, don't try to use it the next day. Just let it be like that. I only use it once a week. If I'm real crazy and I have, a, you know, something going on and I want my skin to look very pretty, I might use it twice a week, but I really don't like it because of the peeling. I hate it because I have done the mistake in the past where, you know, you're desperate of, oh my gosh, I want my skin to look so pretty, blah, blah, blah. And you use it again and then you start peeling because you did one after the other. And it's pretty crazy because, I mean, you can use vitamin C. You can do whatever you want. You can put all the oils in the world. And the peeling is completely crazy. Like, it won't stop. And so, it really bothers you because everybody is looking at you like, oh, uh, what's going on with your skin? And so, that is why I'm telling you, do not use it so often. If you don't see any changes and it's not doing anything... I'm pretty sure that it is doing something, but it's not being so noticeable. So, you know, wait until the next week and then you can use it again. And maybe that time you will see a little more of action on the product. And it's normal that sometimes you don't see anything happening. But do not use it the next day because it will be crazy. Like I said, I've done it. And I have actually have to grab oil just... You know, baby oil and put it in my face, you know, because it's peeling so bad. But not even that. It's like your skin takes all the oil, but you still have the peeling. And it looks pretty bad. And like I said, it's a good product. But if you abuse it, instead of helping you, sometimes it can be a disaster. So, if you have the chance, you can go to your dermatologist, talk to her. Or him, whoever he is. And he will tell you exactly how to use it in your skin. I've heard some dermatologists say you can use it up to 18 weeks. For me, <laughs> that is too much. But like I said, you need to go talk to them so they can tell you how to use it. I only use it once a week and I have enough. I've had the nice peeling and like I said, I don't use any makeup at all. I only do my eyes. If I do, I'll correct a little bit here. My lipsticks and my nose, you know, I'll probably just. But other than that, I have nothing. I'll just use, you know, a little bit of powder just so I won't be, you know, because I'm very greasy. So I won't be so shiny 
But other than that, I really don't use anything. And you can see my dark spots. That is why I use it. I have one right here. I used to have some right over on this side. But they're gone. Like the same as they were right here. But I had them right in here. And I don't know if you guys can see it then. They're basically gone. But like I say, you have to be very patient. It's not like it's going to happen overnight. And just don't overdo it. Use it. Of course, you will notice if your skin is really rough and everything, you will notice how it's going to soften and look pretty. So like I said, just be patient. It works. It will leave your, your skin really nice. But just be patient if you're using it. Don't forget to use vitamin C and vitamin E. And that way you will notice your skin glowing very nice and looking very pretty. It works. It works. But don't forget, it's an acid. So don't abuse it. Okay, well, I hope all this is good for you guys. And I hope that you guys like it. And if you don't, if you haven't used it, Look for a dermatologist so they can tell you how to use it. You will notice a big difference, and I'm pretty sure you'll like it. I personally like it, like I said, and I have noticed a difference, especially on those spots on this side. They're completely gone. I don't really see it. I'm pretty sure that if a dermatologist goes in, she'll probably see them dip, dip, dip in there. But, I mean, they were like this on this side. And these, I mean, they have gone way um more lighter than they used to be they used to be way darker so i do notice a difference and overall if i start with pimples and everything it clears everything out okay well that's all for today i hope that you guys like it and we will see you next time thank you